Ahadi, one of the most important kings of the Pridelands, Mufasa and Scar's father and son of Mohatu. What's his story? What did he do during his reign? And what happened to him? These are some of the questions that I will answer today. But first of all, who is Ahadi? Ahadi is the king of the Pridelands in a tale of two brothers. He is the father of Mufasa and Scar and grandfather of Simba. Ahadi was well known for his bravery and his way to solve problems and helping the Prideland inhabitants. He, as a king, had a great power, but he never used it for his own ends, and instead he used it responsibly for the benefit of his subjects. He was very gentle but always made sure that all laws were obeyed, thing that hyenas did not care about and instead broke them all the time. Ahadi was firm, not just to his subjects, but even in family matters. He refused to submit to his own sons and broke a promise with Taka in order to attend a major problem. This will create misunderstandings and a weak relationship between the two. Despite all, he cared deeply for his children and saved Taka when he was almost getting killed by Boma's herd. When it comes to body size, it appears that Ahadi was almost Mufasa's stature. Ahadi passed many traits down to his sons. He had a brighter fur color. His mane had a lush red color with darker fur combing the tips. Reddish brown eyes as his sons and unusual eye rims with a lower red shade and the top being dark. However, the description differs depending on the source, so that's a matter of liking when it comes to which appearance you prefer. And after this introduction, we will now know Ahadi's story. Ahadi grew in the Pridelands with his parents. His father is Mohatu, the oldest king that we know. Her mother is unknown as there's no reference about her. During his childhood, he was taught about the circle of life and how important it is to be a humble and brave king. All teaching that will be passed to future generations, including his future son Mufasa and his grandson Simba. Years passed, Ahadi learned how to hunt, he developed his personality and one day, in his adolescence, meets Uru, a young lioness that had the same age. Unfortunately, one day Mohatu died from old age, leaving the throne to his son, Ahadi. Fortunately though, he was prepared to that role thanks to Mohatu's teachings. At his side, Uru took the role of queen as shortly after they had their first cub. Their firstborn was Mufasa, who was elected as the future king of the Pridelands. Still during Mufasa's childhood, his parents Ahadi and Uru had another son called Taka, today known as Scar. Mufasa and Scar were brothers, they grew together, but Ahadi decided to spend his time with his firstborn Mufasa to teach him the same things that Mohatu did as he was going to be a king someday in the future. But Ahadi did not notice that in the meanwhile his secondborn Taka was suffering from his lack of attention from his father thing that will lead to disagreement between him and Ahadi. Mufasa met Sarabi in his childhood, and Ahadi knew that it was obvious that one day they will reign the Pridelands together, and he did all he could to prepare to face everything with humility, bravery and strength. One day Uru died. This caused Taka to isolate from others, as she was the only one that spent time with him and he couldn't receive a proper education during his late adolescence. Years later, the day came, and Ahadi died, we can assume, of old age. Mufasa and Sarabi became king and queen of the Pridelands, and then there starts the story that we all know. The story of the Lion King. Personally, I like how The Lion King 6 New Adventures, despite not being canon, expanded the story and gave us lions of such importance, like Hadi. But what about Uru? Would you like a video about her? Tell me in the comments and if you want, you can also share your own theory with us using the theory section in my Discord server. 
If you want more videos like this, please let me know by leaving a like. I always appreciate it. I'm Ascari and I wish you a good night.